Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Crystal and I did, I washed my hair yesterday um, and I just did not have, <laughs> I didn't have the energy to uh, blow dry it. So I went to sleep with it wet, <laughs> but before then it was in like a clippy. So the top is kind of straight and the bottom is this mess. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if this thing will straighten hair worth the crap. I've never straightened my hair with this. I've always used it to like curl my hair, but I've never straightened. And I mean, it is technically a straightener. It's called the Laduo because it does both. So let's see what it can do. I'm going to brush out my hair first so we can get like a baseline what we're working with. And we'll go from there. Um, wow, I just realized I don't have on earrings. I don't have on any weird. Okay. Okay, do you see how like fluffy and poofy it is? You know, like, let's see. This is the baseline. This is what we're starting with. Um, also, the coffee is necessary. I've hardly been sleeping. Your girl's running on fumes. Um, so we're going to have to take pretty small sections, I think. Just to give it a fair shot, I don't want to take like a humongous section and then be like, oh, look, it didn't straighten. So, took a small section from the bottom and there we go. All right, we're going to brush out and then we're just going to get started. I'm just going to take a small little section and see what we can do. That's not bad. What do you think? I can tell you one thing. It doesn't, it doesn't clamp down really hard on the hair. Um, you know what I mean? Like when you have a, a chi or a different flat iron, a lot of times you can kind of feel it tug on your hair. This doesn't tug at all. Okay. Well, look at the difference. I'm already impressed. Okay. Um, because I think I've said this before, but if I haven't, I'll just say it again. Um, the one thing that I like about the Laduo, the, the Lange Laduo, this, this thing, which I will link down below for you guys, um, is the fact that my hair doesn't feel burnt, crunchy, overly heated after I use this like even when I use it to curl it just the hair feels soft do you have you ever gone to use a straightener and it almost smelled like your hair was burning I will say it's kind of not getting the roots very well so if you're someone that has like uh oh that's one thing I hate about it is the fact that the the power button is how you adjust the temperature and it's right down here where your where my thumb always likes to hit. So I typically will hit it and I never know what temp it's on. Like sometimes it may be higher than I want it to be. Sometimes it may end up lower because you know it just goes all the way around. So it feels nice. It doesn't it doesn't have that like, I just straightened my hair and used way too much heat and it smells like burnt, you know? I know you know what I'm talking about. Especially any of you that are around my age and grew up when cheese first became popular and you wanted your hair to be like stick straight and <laughs> we were frying our hair. Bless our hair for that, going through that period. Okay. So, we're going to keep going. Okay. Oh, and by the way, I have the temp set on 390, um, which I really wouldn't do on any other. I would have it lower on other heat tools. But like I said, this one, 
And you can also turn on the fan. I'm just not turning it on because it's a little bit like the sound is intrusive, especially when I'm filming a video. But it's doing a good job, but it doesn't, like even after you touch your hair immediately after you pass over with the straightener, it doesn't feel overly hot. I am down. Why have I not used this for straightening my hair before? Which, I don't know, I don't really straighten my hair that often. Most of the time I just blow it out so it's straight after, after I wash it because I use the Lange blow dry brush. I don't know the technical name, but it's a blow dry brush. You know what I mean? Like the blow dry round brush thing. Um, I can link that down below. I also have a video where um, I show you how I style my hair with it because most of the time I can wash my hair, dry my hair with that blow dry brush and we're good. It's, it's like a salon blowout. Um, so if you're looking for something like that, go check that video out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make zero promises. I will attempt to link that video in the description box, but I might forget. So it is what it is. I, I know I put it up though. So it's somewhere out there. All right, I'm gonna do one more layer with you guys on camera and then I'm probably gonna turn you off and just come back when I'm done so you don't have to sit here and watch me straighten every single layer of hair. That could get really boring. Let's see how it does around the ear pieces because you see how it kind of dried. I had it behind my ear while my hair was drying. This side's real funky because I think I, I laid on this side a lot more last night. So. Let's go ahead and see how it does with these pieces and then I'll finish up and come back. You know I'm holding it close to my ear and I don't even feel heat coming off of it so that's nice. I know that this guy isn't the most inexpensive heat tool but if I were to get one for my daughter, say she wanted like a straightener, this would be a good one because you see how I have my hand on the outside and it's it's hot. Is it uncomfortable? Yeah, but it's not so much so that I'm like, ah, and I can't keep my hand on it. And I think that's a good thing when you're getting uh, a teen girl or, you know, wh at whatever age your daughter may be into doing her hair, um, a straightener. You know what I mean? Because once you hit that age, you don't want your mom to do your hair for you. You want to do it yourself. You want to be independent. So I think this would be a good tool to use at first because, I mean, like, I have it right up by my face. I don't feel a lot of heat billowing out or anything like that. So that that's a good thing for me. I have a 10-year-old, and she, she doesn't want to straighten her hair. She has really straight hair anyways, but um, she's not into fixing her hair or doing her hair or anything yet. But if she were to want to, I would give her this. To use um, and feel pretty confident but I'm talking about a child that has her own hot glue gun and does arts and crafts projects by herself with the hot glue gun and she's never she's never really burnt herself and I'm 35 and I can use a hot glue gun and probably burn three of my fingers so she's she's a cautious one Okay, so that did really well. I'm trying to make sure that I got all of it pulled around. Yeah, considering I slept on it wet and it was dried all wonky, this is, this is really good and it feels nice and soft. It doesn't feel, it doesn't feel damaged. It doesn't feel gross. Um, also, I know we've all done it. You've straightened your hair and then your hair had that that smell. I know you know what I'm talking about. We've all we've all done it. Um, it doesn't have that smell, so that's like I'm gonna finish up the rest of my hair, straightening it, and I'm gonna come back. Um, I think we already kind of know what the results are gonna be, but let me finish up so you don't have to watch it and I don't have to finish the rest of the video with half of my hair looking like this. So I'll be right back. Okay, we finished it up. Look, 
This is the hair straightened it, straightened it, it oh my god, okay. Give me a free pass on that, okay? <laughs> this is my hair straightened, okay? Uh, I'm impressed, 110%, I'm pretty impressed. I will say this, if you have really thick, coarse hair, I don't know that this would straighten for you. It just doesn't clamp down really tight. So I don't think it would get all of your hair straight. I feel like it would leave certain portions still curly, wavy, frizzy, whatever you're trying to solve. I have very fine hair, but I have a crap ton of it. So um, it works well with my hair. But like I said, I don't think if you had really coarse, thick hair, maybe no, I don't know. I, it's hard for me to say. I would hate to suggest this to those, you know, my thick, coarse, curly haired girls because I'm afraid you'd be extremely disappointed. But for normal hair types, fine hair, I think this would be great because it doesn't clamp down super hard. I never once felt like it was ripping a hair out. I never once felt it catch or grab or pull or break my hair at all. It didn't make it feel overly hot, crunchy, gross, smelly, damaged, anything like that. It still feels really nice and it's straight. And I mean, you guys saw what it looked like whenever I started. It was, it was a mess. So, I give it a 10 out of 10. I like the curling function and I like the straightening function. It's crazy because I've had it for so long and just never straightened my hair with it. And honestly, it kind of looks really natural. It didn't give it that year 2000s pin straight, straight as a board type hair. It gave it, you know, nice. It's nice. It doesn't look overly straight. Honestly, it doesn't look like I took a straightener to it. It looks like I just have straight hair or I, I blow dried it. So I like that look. I don't think there are many of us out here anymore that are going for, you know, our teen years and wanting pin straight, just hair. <laughs> if you are though, I don't think this will do it for you. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you guys. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so before you go, and I will see you next time.